<laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I don't think I posted the link yet. <laughs> Mark, I saw Mark Hill, Allie Patton with twenty dollars. Mark Hill twenty four ninety nine. They're just blowing me away with these super chat. John Hudson, KG Tropicals twenty bucks. Roly Poly, first super chat ever. Yep, that was intentional. Ah, you got it. It's all yours now. Thank you, sir. Couldn't have done without you, as usual. All right. John says bye to everybody. All right. If you made it over, thanks. I appreciate it. John and I were just figuring out, you know, it had to be the perfect storm. The absolute worst time ever for uh, a software meltdown. You know, just fooling around, nothing on the line. Oh, heck, yeah, it works every time. Smooth as silk. So now, still got some roly polies. Chattanooga Ed over in the old chat talking about Tennessee people rock, although this one's a little slow with the technology. Uh, okay. There you guys are. Hey, hey, Papa Shrimp, Fishy Biz. All right, I think we're in business. Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging in here with me. I'm going to close the old chat now. All right, get out of there, you old guys. All right, got some great new people here. Thank you guys for hanging in there. That's, it's a little bit embarrassing and so frustrating to have the technology not work with you, but in fact work against you. There's a... a a bot or something that's a saboteur but that's okay we're pushing through we all made it we're all here i'm so glad for that okay let's see i'm gonna try to catch up all of the pre-work i did now it has to be flushed and i'm having to rework the screen organization in real time on the fly you live streamers know what i'm talking about i feel your sympathy thank you for your support so Okay, yes, we are live. Thank you so much. And uh, can we watch ourselves and get a pop out chat? Cooking with gas now. Anybody get an echo? Do I have some volume left on someplace? Yeah, right there. Okay, you got to be quiet up there. Yeah, all right. Talk into the mic. Thanks for the text. All right, getting it together here. And one more click. I think we're going to be there. Yes. And there you beautiful people are. All of you here tonight. 66. Holy cow. All right. What were all of the good words? You guys came over from KG Tropicals in a storm with the roly poly, the roly poly isopods, the sow bugs, the pill bugs. Showing up in force. It's the pill bug army making it work. I don't know, Susan. Is the mic working? I'm getting good levels. What do you guys think? I think I just wasn't talking into it. Yeah. Move closer to the mic. Okay, I'm getting caught up here. All right, all is good. Hung Chow, thank you so much. Man, oh man. Welcome to the River Life Community Tank. Come on in. The water's fine. After a little bit of maintenance there on the front end, getting this thing started, man, I tell you. Yeah, I did move it closer. Okay, Mark Kill, you're awesome. Thank you for being here. Listen, you guys are so awesome. You're great. We got an awesome show lined up. I got, a, I got to help John at KG Tropicals yesterday reformat some new technology that he's working with. It's going to be special. You guys are going to really appreciate his effort and the expense he's gone to to up his game and uh, of course during the conversation i learned so many things from john unfortunately didn't pay off for us getting started on time but it was wonderful to talk to john to get motivated about uh wading in a little deeper on the live stream game so you've noticed already we've got some super chats okay this is new for the River Life channel, and it's happening on our first River Life Community Tank Live live stream because we just got monetized yesterday. Thank you guys so much. You came through. 
with flying colors uh, during the two nearly back-to-back -back aquarium conventions and events, Aquashella and Aquatic Experience. Those are phenomenal events, and I was able to get some great content due to all of the awesomeness that was 360 degree panoramic happening all over the place. And you guys watched the content and we were able to get the, the need of 4,000, we met the 4,000 hours in a year goal. Bob Kaler, $20. Thank you. Thank, you're looking good, Bob. Thank you very much. There's a community minded person. Glad, glad to have him on board. You're welcome in the community tank, Bob Kaler. So, um, that happened. We, we've been working with laser focus to get monetized, and here we are. And you guys are just knocking it out of the park here. Um, hopefully, I'll remember how to figure out where to find all these super chats in case I missed any. And it's just phenomenal that you guys are doing that. I appreciate it very much. Multi-Tank Addiction is here. We're going to talk about him in this show because he's another fantastic community member. Well, all of you guys are. But I just happen to be involved with some of you on different projects here and there. Chattanooga Ed, another fine East Tennessean right there coming in with the $5 super chat. He says, rack, you rock. Well, right back at you, Ed. You do too. Patricia with a $2 super chat. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate that very much. You guys just showing uh, the newly monetized channel some love here, and I appreciate it. The Fish Tank Barn, congrats, Rack, with the $5 Super Chat. And I'm talking about some of these people. You guys are like family. You're just very common names in this household. We hang out together. This is our social time. And it's like we're just kind of, we're out someplace doing an event. Got to open some liquid refreshment here. My throat's getting a little scratchy. Sorry about that noise. Madison Paul Reeves, first time ever on your channel. Hi from Knoxville, Madison. I'm also in East Tennessee. I'm up here in the mountains, Mountain Home, Tennessee, and uh, I love Knoxville. It's about two hours southwest of me up here. We're still all in the foothills, the Great Smoky Mountains, beautiful part of the country. Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. I'm overwhelmed. Um, I want to, listen, this is what I want to do. I, I'm, I'm going to do this. You guys are showing all this love to me, and I appreciate it so much. You don't, you don't know. It's like, it's like when you accomplish your goal and all your friends are there to share it with you. That is exactly what's going on. Here's five dollars from the Fish Room Fever. More Tennessee love. Uh, what a great state we live in, and everyone's welcome to visit. And I certainly enjoy visiting your state, wherever that is. But here's what I'm going to do: the proceeds from this love, these super chats tonight. I know, you know, I'm brand new at this, but I know Google gets a cut and it takes a month or two for the revenue to reach the creator. But I want to do something special with this super chat proceeds tonight. And I think what I want to do, we are the community tank now. You guys are community tankers. If you're subscribed to the channel, you're river lifers and I love you very much, whether or not you're a subscriber. I do appreciate you being here. I want to give this super chat proceeds from tonight's live stream. Well, both of tonight's live stream, since some of you, <laughs> bless your hearts, you were showing the love before I could even get the live stream turned on. I want to give half of the proceeds to Project Piaba. We'll talk more about that and I'll tell you why. It's a very special nonprofit organization, volunteer run. Um, that is the best thing in the freshwater fish keeping hobby going on right now, in my opinion. So I want to do that and help our extended community reaching all the way to the natives and in the Amazon jungle right there on the Rio Negro tributary of the Amazon river, um, all the way to fish in our living room. So I want to do that. And then with the other half, I want to. I want to give the other half of the proceeds of tonight's super chats to Candy Overholes and her family. And just, uh, you know, we're going to help our immediate community, our immediate family, and our extended family with tonight's super chat. So thank you all very much for showing the love. And that's where the proceeds of all of that love is going to go for these super chats. Is that Bob Kaler with another $20 super chat? Wow. This guy, he doesn't know when to stop. Zen Ginger said, I knew it. <laughs> Rack rocks. 
you guys rock. You guys are making this happen. Lisa from KG Tropicals, heart right back at you. Um, and, you know, we got to shout John Hudson out right now, KG Tropicals, because we wouldn't be talking about this without him. I mean, literally tonight, couldn't turn the machine on without John. FaceTime calls me, turned the phone around, let me see the screen, and it was like it's like a 911 technology call. So, um, and it, Mark Hill, 49.99. Are you serious, man? You are awesome. Kobe Matz, two dollars. I don't know your name, Kobe. You look like a new friend, and you're super chatting already. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Allie Patton, twenty-five dollars for candy overhauls. Oh my gosh, I know Candy's going to appreciate that. She's so humble and such a sweet person. I hope this doesn't uh, embarrass you, Candy. I know you didn't know I was going to do this. I, I didn't ask your permission if I could do that. I just felt in my heart it was the right thing to do. So I hope that you're really good with the love we want to share with you and your family. And Lisa says, you know, KG Tropical, she loves all this support. And I'm beside myself. My skin is just, you know, crawling right now. It's... It's a crazy thing. I, I appreciate it very much. So I was thanking John for helping us get the live stream started tonight, but you know, also for getting us monetized. The story goes, if you've been following along, I'll I'll tell it quickly. If you haven't, you'll you'll get the gist. I was questioning whether or not YouTube was really the per, Dally Vigil, 1999. That's the guy with the coolest hat at Aquatic Experience. Uh, you had me at hello. <laughs> uh, hello, Imperial Tropicals. I, I wish I would have known that was you, Dally. We'll definitely catch up and hook up at the next event. But at 800 subs, uh, I didn't think I was ever going to see 1,000. And I met John Hudson at Aquatic Experience 2017. And he said, yeah, I think you're going to make it. And uh, he called out the forces. And we really quickly got to 1,000 subs. Fast forward, hey, I, I want you to come up here and be on my live stream. We'll talk about custom aquariums or something, something cool. Hung Chow, $5. KG Tropicals, $24.99. Payback for the barbecue. <laughs> I'm trying to thank this guy. You can't buy him a sandwich without him wanting to pay you back. Nuts. So I get to 1,000. I'm remotivated. I'm pumped. Then he has me up on his live stream. I get a video with 9,000 views, more than double any video I've ever made. Uh, my guppies breed like crazy in 10 gallons. Should I keep eating them in salads, watching the diet, or do you know a place that takes fish? Other option is the toilet. Hung Chow, I would say sleep on it. Just think about it. Give it a dedicated night's sleep of thought. See what you come up with. Follow your heart. Uh, Moonstone KK, $10. It takes a village. Absolutely. Another new name, Moonstone KK. Nice to meet you, and thank you so much for the super chat. We are pulling it together as a community, making it happen, making it better for all of us. And uh, listen, you community tankers are making it happen all over the place. John Hudson in the chat, KG Tropicals. Lisa, KG Tropicals, had me, hosted me at their house. Oh man, such a wonderful time. Just from the time that I walked in the door, we talked and talked and talked. We didn't stop talking. We turned the microphones on, did a couple of live streams, and it was just like we were continuing the conversation. Some of you guys saw that. If you didn't, John's got a video on KG Tropicals. I think it's Buying a Big Aquarium is the title of his live stream. And then I did a live stream the next night from his studio. And so the numbers went crazy just because we had a good time and because you guys are so awesome. And I've just been so fortunate to know John and Lisa and the channel, the River Life channel, it, you know, basically owes a considerable amount of growth. And definitely the time span was shortened for the growth because of John and Lisa's consideration. Um, Michael Thornley Wildlife Foundation, $10 Australian. We appreciate all you do. Well, likewise, right? Uh, and, and so my thing is I understand that we all have something. And if we'll build a safe community space for us to contribute what we have, we'll all benefit. It's pretty simple. That Guppy's $5 super chat, no comment. Stephanie Berry, $5 super chat. Good luck to you sending positive vibes. You guys incredible look at this holy cow my if you can see the top and you if you can you can look at the top of the chat look at all those colors it's like flying flags um yeah we're we're one nation of many colors it's fantastic i love that 
So, uh, to wrap up the KG Tropical, um, thank you. We're here right now at this stage receiving Super Chat, sharing the love from the Super Chat because John and Lisa accelerated our effort. So thank you guys very sincerely. Thank you very much. There are 94 watching now. Uh, last week, John sent guys, you guys over from his live stream. We got up to 90. 90 was double the number I'd had in a live stream before. So that was awesome. And man, if we could get to 100. If you know somebody that's not here right now, we can get over 100. That would be a huge milestone. So awesome. Science Gal is here. Good to see Carrie. Now we got to get on with this show. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out on the, uh, over in the chat just enough to, to say thank you for the super chats because I'm new at this. I don't want to miss one of those. Candy's got to take a break. That's fine. Uh, love from North Carolina. Skylar, listen, I love North Carolina. I'm just over the hill from Asheville, and I get over there as often as possible. One of my favorite places on earth is the Outer Banks of North Carolina and also Wilmington, North Carolina, Carolina Beach, Curry Beach, Fort Fisher. I love the coast of North Carolina. Um, I'm going to move on. We're, I call this opening now, turning on the lights in the community tank. That's where I recognize you and thank you. And tonight was extended because of the circumstances and, and so many good things. And now we're going to move on to something I'm going to call this segment of the show is going to be the feeding frenzy in the community tank. And we're going to take a look at what you guys had to say on recent content. And so my last video upload was, I guess, the finale of the aquatic experience footage. And it had a unique spin to it. I won't spoil it for you. If you haven't seen it yet, you can drop over there. Bob Kaler dropping another $20 in the super chat bucket. Let's get it on. Half to Project Piaba, half to our beloved Candy. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing, Bob Kaler. All the proceeds being divided tonight between uh, our extended community and our immediate community. And we are just showing the love community member to community member. So the last video was called Aquatic Experience Rewind. You guys spoke and you said that video had that video had the best outro. Don't don't take our word for it. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Keep an eye out for that outro. It was a brain bender to make. I mean, it, I I was exhausted. And uh, I hope that it wasn't so exhausting for you to watch. Once you get the hang of what's going on and you put yourself in the time sequence, it's pretty cool. And especially on the second watch, then you can just observe as a casual observer and you start recognize people and fish species like you do in normal videos. But it's got a unique spin and it's short. It won't, it won't take a lot of time to watch that. I think it's four minutes and something. So... That happened. You guys commented on it. I'm calling that. I'm throwing that in the chum bucket, calling it a feeding frenzy. Uh, also, on the feeding frenzy list, um, last week I talked about the new fish studio build out and that probably I wouldn't be talking a lot about that until it, it just happened. Uh, and what you guys said was, you want me to rethink that. Maybe I do want to share that. Maybe I want to share the build out with you guys instead of keeping it all a secret, keeping it to myself. Um, for whatever reason, you guys think sharing the build out's a good idea. So I'm rethinking that. I, I haven't committed to doing just that yet. But I, I think I can commit to doing some intermediate release before the completion Anna's hobbies coming in with a five dollar super chat it's all about our friendships here here i think you get it anna i like the way you see things so i i truly have enjoyed watching some of you and other fish tubers build out their fish room there's a lot of fun content involved always some some tips some education so I don't, I don't mean to shortchange anybody of something they might pick up on, but just as a matter of workflow, there is so much going on in the development of this 
fish room and it's uh it's not going to be a quick thing it's going to be it's going to be slow going for a while um and it does not have our full attention it's prioritized and as a project or two you know works its way up the priority list they're going to be taken care of so i i just feel like if if it's not going to be from beginning to end you you may lose interest if it drags on uh you know as months long project instead of a a saga you can check in on every week or every other day so i don't know I'm still thinking about it i think as i mentioned you, after reading what you guys had to say i think i can release some intermittent holy cow mile high plecos just bl- <sighs> give me a second mile high plecos just super chatted one hundred dollars that's the big red flag and says hi everyone that's amazing absolutely amazing i I just now looked over and saw you in here mile high plecos i hope you understand we're dividing the proceeds of tonight's super chats between our moderator and local community member candy overhauls and project piava our distant community and extended community down in the amazon on the rio negro that is absolutely amazing Mods, show Mile High Pleco some love in the chat for me, please. Thank you. Yeah, so, going to give you some content. Um, I mean, not a lot. A video or two. If if something, if a project gets completed or I get everything assembled and some time scheduled to uh, complete a portion in, in, you know, in a small amount of time, that might make a good video. I get it. We could probably do that. So, what else do we have going on? Let's, I got a few points here. Kaler's Aquatics, not to be outdone, Bob, Bob. Wow. $101 Super Chat. $101 going right into the community bank. Great to have you back, Mile High. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Devlin's Fish and Fins, 1999. Glad to meet you at Aquashella, Devlin's. Nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for the super chat. Mile High Plecos. Oh, oh boy. Oh. <sighs> Mile High Plecos super chats another, an additional $100 and says, Hi, Candy. Oh, oh, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Your love is making a difference. We, the River Life Community Tank Live is bending the needle toward the positive side tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you could have left, 94, watching. You could have left when I had technical difficulty, but you hung in there with me. Thank you so much for the support. Now, super chats on the moon. Yeah, I'm looking up at the top of the screen there like I'm sure you are. $100, $101, $100, $19.99, $20, forty-nine ninety-nine. Did I miss a forty-nine ninety-nine super chat? Oh, my gosh. Somebody send me a text. Wake me up. I'm scrolling. Somebody help me. Who? Twenty four ninety nine. KG Tropicals. Dolly Vigil. Nineteen ninety. My chat won't go that far. Was that Mark? Was that Mark Hill? It was. That was Mark Hill. I think I said thank you to Mark. If not, thank you, Mark. That was awesome. Okay, yeah, it was. Susan, thank you. Mark Hill. You guys, I got to meet Mark, talk to him. Guess what? No surprise. Awesome guy. What's he want to do? He wants to enjoy fish keeping with other people. He wants to watch YouTube videos. He wants to help people who are making videos. KG Tropical says, click on the oval and you'll see who sent the chat. Yep, that's what I ended up figuring out. And guess what? John Hudson does that for me on the reg. I don't know why. I love you too, John. That's all I can say. Thank you very much. I mean, someone said it takes community. It does. It takes a good friend with your phone number and more information than you, right? So don't be afraid to make friends with people who know more than you, right? And especially if they're community-minded like KG Tropicals 
And I think he understands. If I learn anything from him, it's probably going to be shared with the community before too long. We are all in this together. We all do have common interests. And I love sharing this stuff with you guys. I don't know, John. Sent what? Multi-tank addiction. Don't you leave. You hang in there. we got a point coming up. Multi-tank addiction. I want to make sure we get to that. What's going on at the surface level in the community tank? What's the first points we need to talk about? Let's see what's at the top this week. Top of the tank. 4,000 hours and 12 months. View time. Thank you very much, everyone, for chipping in, getting us monetized. Now we're on a roll. Mid-tank swimmers. What's going on the second point in the community tank? Oh, all right, moving on now to multi-tank addiction YouTube channel. My friend Chris Lawson. Uh, Chris is still in here. I saw him just a second ago. Yes. All right. Listen, Chris, please post your number of subscribers in the chat. I think the last time we talked was like 771. All right. About Kaler's Aquatics. $102 super chat. One, sorry to interrupt again. Hey, Candy, wonderful to speak with you today. And uh, listen, I've got notes, Bob, so feel free to interrupt anytime you like. I'll, I'll get back on track with the notes here. Uh, Michael Thornley Wildlife Foundation said it best. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, thank you, Pam, 54 Punchy, for showing Bob some love there. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Pam. Yeah, multi-tank addiction, 727 subscribers. And you know 1,000 is the magic milestone. Everybody wants to get there, but th there's some opportunity for channel growth at 1,000. Our friend and community member Chris is at less than 300 subscribers away from reaching that milestone that would that will help him become a monetized channel and it will also then help him to grow as a YouTube channel and I'm going to tell you I want you to take my word for it Chris of Multitank Addiction is a creative force he's doing things as a small channel that I haven't seen very many large channels do just because he wants to and that's not a knock against the large channels it's just hey you don't have to have a lot of shelf space to do a lot of good. And Chris is doing it. Now I'm going to tell you what Chris and I have going on. Chris and I are collaborating to make the world a better place, especially the fish keeping world. Now we're not uh, carrying the earth on our back. Don't get me wrong. But we're taking what we've got as community members, as individuals, putting those things together and seeing what impact we can make on the positive side of fish keeping. And so what we're doing, I have entered, uh, well, you go ahead and tear up, Chris. I might tear up with you. I'm, I'm, they're, they're just like right behind the eyeballs right now. Just, there's a, a well full of them. So Chris and I are going to do something that I call art for a cause. Chris is a known artist. He does live streams where he does art on his live stream. He's done the uh, arowana paintings for uh, KG Tropicals. Um, he he did a, a painting of D from Down the Wormholes. I've got it. D's Down the Wormholes Goldfish, KC and knew that I like goldfish and koi. So he brought that to me at Aquatic Experience. Brought it special for me. Um, and so last year at Aquatic Experience, is that right, uh, Chris? He gave me several different prints and I knew I wanted to work with him. I'm also an artist um, and I love his style. And I've been friends with Project Piaba for a couple of years now, uh, an influencer for them of late. And I understand what they're doing. I appreciate it and I support it. And I asked Chris if he would mind learning a little bit about Project Piaba. He picked right up on it and said, yes, that's, I'm glad to know that is what Project Piaba is. He'd heard of it before. You know, it's a popular nonprofit volunteer 
helping conservation somehow with the fish keeping community. So Chris learned the story and said, yeah, I want to help any way I can. So I asked Chris if he would consider painting a cardinal tetra for me. And I would put it somewhere, you know, on prominent display for live streams and, you know, just, just wherever, where I could just reach back and say, yeah, that's Chris did that for me. Yeah, probably a good spot right in there. And um, and then, you know, he sells prints on his website. Now, I don't want to send you to his to his website. I want him to do that. But I want to send you to his YouTube channel. You check out what he's got going on. You watch him make some of these um, on the fly, in real time, on a live stream, pieces of art that are amazing. I think he's already started working on the Cardinal Tetra. He's going to send to me, and he's going to have prints made. So he sells the prints on his website and every print of this Cardinal Tetra that he's doing at my request that he sells, he's going to make a donation to Project Piaba. And it wasn't, he didn't even have to consider this. He understood what Project Piaba was and yes, I want to do it. And when you understand Project Piaba, you understand why it is the Cardinal Tetra. That's the fish that they're harvesting with such sustainability, zero impact on the population of the fish, keeping people employed that are now protectors of the rainforest instead of slash and burners of the rainforest. And that's the two second explanation. Please look into it for yourself. But he's going to do this uh, art for me and then he's going to have these prints available that you can purchase. And the, pro and the portion of the proceeds from every print is going to go to Project Piaba. So at Aquatic Experience, he went to the Project Piaba booth, talked to the people, pressed the flesh. This became further inspired. They love Chris. And what they're going to do is commission Chris to do some more special work. And I'm not going to spoil it for him right now. I want you guys to check out his next live stream. Candy, someone, if you want to mention the... Okay, Candy already has, of course. She already has put the... Uh, multi-tank addiction link in there and there's probably some information about when he will stream again there's a project piaba link uh, chris is now on board as a project piaba influencer so if we show him some community love you know the more his channel grows the more uh, project piaba is benefited so very happy to be working with multi-tank addiction on this project and others in the past and whatever happens in the future so Chris, I hope that you get some benefit from that because you're definitely lending your talent to the community and you're, you're making benefits happen for so many other people. I love you for that, brother. You keep up the good work. Okay, Fish Art Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Pacific. Tuesdays, 5 p.m. Pacific and it's funny that I didn't know that I think I'll remember because my upload day is Tuesday And if you watched my funny little video when I changed the Tuesdays, I say Tuesday over and over Tuesdays on Tuesday Yeah, you got it Chris. Nope. Thank you brother. You're you're knocking it out of the park I'm happy to be associated with you and you deserve the exposure and I hope you get a lot more not just from me but from everybody else who discovers what a wonderful person you are okay moving on to the bottom dwellers was anybody here at aquatic experience somebody said it was nice to meet me anybody else here in the chat that was at aquatic experience um i don't think i saw you there mark i think you were at aquashella Lisa, KG Tropicals. Somebody said Candy was there. I think that was just, that was an Easter egg hunt. She wasn't there. It was, it was pretty fun though, right? Have you seen Candy? No, she here. <laughs> she wasn't there. Dawn is in the house. Anna's Hobbies is here. The Zen Ginger. Good night, Susan. See you later, Susan. Candy was not there. She's confirming. Of course she wasn't. Dolly Ver Dolly Vigil was here. Chattanooga Ed was there last year. I don't even know if we met. Did we, Ed? I don't remember. We should have. I wished we would have. Yeah, Dolly was there. You know the story about Dolly in my video? 
if you watch my video, one of them, one of the aquatic experience videos, this guy, I'm doing a live stream. I'm walking around vlogging. Guy walks, I just had finished talking with Mike from Imperial Tropicals. He gave me a nice sound bite. Great guy, beautiful fish. And so it wasn't just a couple of seconds later, this guy walks by me and he's got on the Imperial Tropical hat. And I'm live streaming. I say, hey, Imperial Tropicals. And I can see behind me, this guy's smiling. Later, in the comment section of that video is Dally Vigil. And he said, hey, that was me in the Imperial Tropical hat. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Michael Thornley Wildlife Foundation said Elvis was there. You got to go to these things. You never know who you're going to run into. Tupac. Yeah, all of the, you know, and some, several superheroes. I think I saw Captain America. No, wait, that was Amber. Yeah, Rachel O'Leary was there. Dustin was there making cameo appearances in my videos. That was a lot of fun. I was vlogging and Dustin came up behind my back and he's in, <laughs> he's in the camera while I'm live streaming. Oh, they, yep, I can't get you to say hello because you're always busy. And then when I'm not expecting it, you sneak up on me. Great. Art for a cause is going to be a real thing. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and so that brings us, I guess, a good segue to the creative portion of tonight's show, if that wasn't creative enough. Uh, the aquascaping portion of the community tank. And this is a this is something, we're going to give this a whirl. We're going to give it a try. Hi, Tracy. Welcome to the chat. Rachel is so awesome. Um, we're going to try a sticker jam. You guys know what a sticker jam is? So if you know me, I'm becoming well known for handing out stickers. Uh, I love to do that. Instead of a business card, you have something that's visually appealing and, and you know, you can, I use the small stickers so they work on visual uh, personal space. A little smaller than that. So you can put them on your laptop or you can put them on your water bottle. Here's, this is the small MacBook Pro. You can see the size. Yeah, I like those. And several other aquarium channels use those. So, and I have several from several other aquarium channels. So what I like to do is do a sticker jam. So it starts out as a sticker exchange. Just Shrimp Granny. She's got a koozie, that's right. Um, if you've got a, a, a channel sticker, I'd like to trade stickers with you. So if you'll send me your stickers in a self-addressed stamped envelope, so all I have to do is stuff them, jam them in there, sticker jam, and get them mailed back out to you, I'd love to trade stickers with you, but it's not going to stop there. If you'll send me a few stickers, um, I'll, I'll send your stickers out in other self-addressed stamped envelopes that I get. That's the jam part of the sticker jam. So, uh, Candy, you need my sticker. That's just all there is to it. I'll get you a sticker. So, if you send me your stickers, I'll send you mine, and I'll spread yours out in the other envelopes. I'll just mix them all up so everybody gets a pack of stickers that wants to play. So, I'm going to give you the... Uh, uh, in, in the description of this live stream, I'll add the post office box, but I'll give it to you now. Also, it is river life, YouTube channel, post office box, 462 mountain home, Tennessee, three, seven, six, eight, four. Okay. So in the replay, you'll have that. And also I'll put it in the description for the sticker jam, the sticker jam. Uh, Michael Thornley Wildlife Foundation with an Australian $40 super chat. A little more to add to the initial 10. Bless you all. Bless you, Michael Thornley Wildlife Foundation. Total of $50 tonight. Australian. Uh, sharing the love with the community. If you just joined us, this is the first Community Tank Live River Life YouTube channel live stream. And we are sharing the love. All the super chat proceeds are going to go um, to our local neighbor and moderator tonight, Candy Overholz family and Project Piava. So thank you very much for all the love. Um, I think the top of 
the chat screen is is going to be waving flags all night if you look up there it's just amazing the the amount of super chats that you guys contributed to those causes and i thank you very much that's fantastic i can't think of better things to do with our support tonight than to support those people okay so the sticker jam is on it's live you've got the address you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to that address with your stickers i'll send you some of mine and mixtures in with other people's I, I don't know i'll give it a few weeks to see if some stickers come in so everybody gets some of someone else's um i'll tell you one thing you're going to get some multi-tank addiction stickers because we're, we're going to love on that guy and promote him for for sharing his gift with the community um it's just it's the right thing to do so chris we're going to do that for you yeah red and orange up there on the top uh, phew, that's crazy. I've never been in a live stream where that happened. You guys are amazing. You're making it happen right here in the community tank. Um, it's 11.25. Anybody know what time we actually got started? Yeah, we're so frazzled there on that false start. I know that had to take 10, 15 minutes. So we'll, we'll say we started 10.45. We got a good 15 minutes left. 15 minutes left. Um, and let's do a water change. Let's do a water change out with the old water, flush it. You hear the toilet flushing and do get some new topic in here. You know, we already covered monetization changes things, changes the scheme of things, changes what we can do. We're obvious. I mean, look, that's exactly right. Candy. Thank you for sharing that. We're doing things different. We're doing it differently. We're doing it better. We're making more of an impact. Okay. Our footprint's a little bit wider. Um, and it's all because we're together. Angela Cross in the house. Hello, River Wife. You guys better be kind to River Wife. She says, Jay's, bad, Jay's better and Jen, Zen Ginger. I'll see what I can do about more koozies. She has mentioned that to me. I'm like, you know, I don't know if they like the koozies or not. <laughs> now I'm out. And that reminds me. Well, it may have been Jay's better room. Somebody said something about that in the last live stream. And I said something that I don't um, think came across the way I meant it. And it was, well, I might let go of this. This is my last one. I might let go of it, you know, for somebody like Project Piaba, you know, or some uh, John Hudson, you know. And I just meant that because he's been like such a, a brother, not that whoever asked wasn't qualified. And so I want to go back and look at that. And probably I will give this last koozie to whoever said that to me. I probably will. So if you know that was you, yeah, it was Jay's better room. If you'll send me an address to ship this to, buddy, yours. And when we get new ones, because when River Wife says, I'll check, wink, probably they're in the mail. Probably she's in there on her iPad and they're already ordered. Um, I feel, if that's not the case, I feel 100% sure they'll be ordered shortly. So get me your email address, Jay's better room, and I'll get this in the mail to you. I'll throw some stickers in. And then when we get new ones, Jay's better room, you're on the top of the list too. Now, how does that sound to everybody else? Do you like the koozies? Is that something you like? You're awesome, Jay's better room. I love you too, man. Candy, yep. Candy, you're on the list. Oh, listen, what if a new idea on the fly, I haven't got to think this out, I haven't worked the kinks out. What if on the new koozie, it said community tanker in addition to the river life logo. Would you guys like to be recognized as community tankers? Mark Hill says, yeah. Fake name says willing to ship to Canada. I'll buy one. Let me check on it. Fake name because I don't know. I'll check on it. Dally vigil. Yes. On a koozie. I need a koozie. That's a great idea. Multi-tank addiction. Sure. Yes to koozies. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is that okay? Sandy Dolly? Okay. Is that okay with the community tanker? I'm a community tanker. Jay's better. Absolutely. All right. All right. Yeah. Sell those. Uh, so Jess, Jess Shrimp Granny's coming up here with a new idea. Working it out. So this is what happens when you have community. You get stone soup and everybody brings good ideas. Jess Shrimp Granny said, yeah, so sell them and split the proceeds with Piaba as a fundraiser. 
I'm not hating that. Let me think about it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Something else new. The River Life YouTube channel, Community Tank Live Facebook group. I sent out a bunch of invitations. Um, if you didn't get an invitation and you're here, please feel free to check that out on Facebook and become a member. Love to have you over there. We're going to promote this channel and the way we um, we share. Yeah, Mark Hill, T-shirt community tanker. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do have a graphic for that lined up. But go to the Facebook page. Get involved there. We're going to promote this channel over there. We're going to talk about fish. We're going to talk about YouTube. It's going to be going to be pretty sweet um, having our group over there all week long when we're not together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, following the KG Tropical Tank Talk Facebook group model. Uh, if we, someone comes up needing some help, you know, they got a question, we'll be there as a community to help each other out. That's going to be the deal. It's going to be pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Okay, so... So many things going on. My my head is still spinning and reeling from all the love you guys have shown, from the excitement we had getting started, from this being a, a launch, a kickoff for the Community Tank Live live stream, you guys becoming community tankers. And, yeah, okay, Jay, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm the only moderator in that new group, so you could easily find my Facebook page there from the uh, River Life YouTube channel, Community Tank Live group. Patricia joined. Thank you, Patricia. Welcome. All right, Bob, you, you take a break. We're at 1131. We're going to go a few more minutes. Mark Hill says awesome. Um, yeah, great, great group of people here. You guys are awesome. I'm, I'm showing some buffering on my live stream uh in a split window but the chat is still rolling thank you candy found the facebook link there it is bingo thank you very much again without warning i'm laying all this out there and candy's catching up with it in real time thank you very much um river beard oil i'm kind of all natural i thought about the oils and um when I'm not live, I do this a lot, okay? I don't know if it's a cognitive. I'm thinking about something. This is helping me work it out. I'm getting closer on the equation. And the oil isn't really good for that. If you got this tick, if this is your habit. Okay. All right, I'm back. I, I, I stopped buffering for a minute. It was, I, I saw it, yeah. All right. Yeah, refresh because I'm I'm back now. All right, so the Sticker Jam, Facebook group, lots of opportunity, multi-tank addiction, YouTube channel, lots of opportunity to get involved, to be active, to activate ourselves as a community, to push that needle just a little bit. I mean, we don't have to change the world. I'm not overachieving here. Just, hey, there's some good we can do. Maybe we'll just check up on doing it, right? Um, everybody has something, okay? I'm going to say one of the things I have I'm willing to share is like community organization. It's my background. I've been a public servant, you know, for 27 years, retired. Um, before that, I had some military experience. It's, it's I, I like being of service. So so that's what I bring. These are some ideas of, of how I can use this platform, the River Life YouTube, YouTube channel, to bring together some good ideas and forward those ideas to other people. So that's what you're hearing. Okay. It's not whiz bang. It's not magic. It's just my life experience over the many years, uh, decades. <laughs> it's, it's how I can put it into play in a community fashion. Daryl Deemer, $20 super chat. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Daryl. Good seeing you at Aquashella. It's been too long. Hope to see you again soon. Um, and this whole safe community thing, I'm pretty serious about. I think if, if you feel comfortable in a group, you're more likely to contribute to a group. So 
So we're going to encourage each other. We're going to hear about what people are comfortable sharing with each other. And we're going to sometimes shake our head and say, wow, Chris Lawson, I didn't know you could draw. Yeah, we're going to read up on Project Piaba and say, wow, I didn't know we could buy a Cardinal Tetra and it would have an effect all the way downstream to the location of origin where the fish swam in the wild. By the way, if you're here and you don't know the Project Piaba story, it it focuses on, it centers on wild caught fish importation. I had a knee jerk reaction to that. That was like, what? We don't wild port it. Why wild caught import? We breed fish now. We practice husbandry. So it, it took me a minute. I had to get my head wrapped around it. And when I did, I learned 30 years of data collected. Five generations of local Amazonian families catching fish and selling them for our aquariums in a sustainable manner. And in the case of the Cardinal Tetra, zero population impact. Yes, it's possible. It is possible. And they are doing it. And just uh, in case there's questions on it, if you're looking sideways at the screen right now, let me just tell you that there's a rainy season down there that causes the rivers to swell. And then in, in the breeding season, and then in the dry season, the riverbanks recede. It's like a floodplain. And the river shrinks back into the channel. And so then those shallow banks become just puddles and pools that eventually dry up. And so the, the cardinal tetras that are collected are in that water, usually less than knee deep, and they're collected with a hand net, not a big commercial operation. And the families are able to make a living doing it that way. And they're basically collecting fish that are going to die in the dry season. So 30 years of scientific data have determined that at the rate and the style at which they're collecting the fish, there's an inexhaustible supply of, which is a really rare scientific term, inexhaustible, uh, the Cardinal Tetra down there in the Rio Negro and Project Piaba region. It's actually, um, I forget the number of acres, but it's about the size of the state of Pennsylvania. Is where the, And they're doing so many things. They're teaching those natives um, best handling practices for catching and moving the fish. And they're helping them organize co-ops amongst themselves. So they're teaching them community building so they can share their gifts with each other in their community. And the more you read about it, the more it's just, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Um, I said, someone in the chat earlier said, you had me at hello. I told Project Piaba, you had me at culturally sensitive. So it's not our idea, our capitalist ideas going down to a third world country saying, how can we extract from you so that we can profit? It's not that. Corporate is involved and we need the corporate arm. And that, by the way, is Seagrest Inc. Seagrest Inc. has a portion of their operation labeled Project Piaba and their water parameters in that section match the water parameters they have firsthand observed down there in the Project Piaba area. And the fish are, uh, they're, they're helping the people understand how to best handle the fish. They're doing the supply chain, teaching them how and when to ship. They're collecting the shipment ASAP so the fish are healthy and in good shape, taking care of it there at Seagrest Inc. and then shipping to their retailers. And it's to the point now where retailers, as they learn how good this Project Piaba is, they're requesting the Project Piaba fish. They want to feel good. They, want to, they know that their customer wants that too. So they're, they're asking for the Project Piaba fish in order that um, they can profit more, have a better business, we can have a better hobby while helping the rainforest. So the slogan is, buy a fish, save a tree. Last thing on Project Piaba, um, Tracy Ray, it's all about the positivity. That's just the way we're going to do it. Uh, last thing on Project Piaba, they have just released an aquarium kit an Aquion aquarium kit called the Rainforest Conservation Kit. It's a 13 gallon widescreen, beautiful tank. It's kind of tall and narrow, uh, very unique in that it features botanicals included in the kit that will tan and stain the water much like the native habitat. And it comes with a $20 or $25 coupon for fish. 
So the kit retails between 169, 179, and it's everything, you know, it's everything but the water. It's the heater. It's the decor. It's the filter. It's the light. It's the aquarium. It's a coupon for the fish. It's everything. So this is what's cool. You buy the kit, right? And then you set your aquarium up. And before the store gives you the fish, you don't take the fish home with you when you get the kit. I think this is moving the needle forward. You get a vial that you can collect a sample of your aquarium water and then take it back to the pet store. And when the water tests okay for fish, then they give you the fish. It's the best idea I've ever heard. Here it is, complete everything. Now you can go ahead and plant some plants. You can go ahead and set up the decor. You can watch the water change colors. You, you're gonna have some things going on in your aquarium, but let's hold off on the fish to make sure the water is okay. I love this idea. So that's the Aquion Rainforest Conservation Kit. Kathy Doro coming in with a $5 super chat from Australia. Welcome. Good day. I think, is it day there? It's, it's nighttime here. It's 11.41 p.m. And um, we've got a, this is a second super chatter from Australia. I'm beginning to love the Down Under uh, community members. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Kathy. And I don't think we've met before. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. So this rainforest conservation kit, brand new idea. Uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, the water testing before you get your fish. I, it's just, it's teaching, in my opinion, good aquatics. Um, a little pricey. Yeah, you know, I was in the KG Tropical live stream talking about the dollar per gallon sale and the kits. So you can get hooked up with a 20 gallon kit. Um, usually the kits don't include the heater, but they're under a hundred bucks. Okay, that's cool. Um, the uh, Rainforest Conservation Kit. Oh, it also comes with a little um, flyer about um, Project Piaba. So the, the kids are the target, but adults also. The owners, purchasers, are going to get information about where the fish come from and a picture of one of the um, villagers down there in the Amazon that actually collect the fish. So the kids understand that this fish came from a very sensitive habitat and you're helping to protect it. It didn't come from the store. It came from a very sensitive habitat and it's important that we take care of it. And so this kit is teaching that in a very good way. So 169, 179, Project Piaba is supported by that. They're promoted by that. Awareness is heightened by that for not only Project Piaba, but rainforest conservation in general. And it's only available at local fish stores. So it costs more than a big box store, than a big chain kit, okay? That's selling you basically a price leader at a low profit. And then they'll profit later on the fish and the decor and the chemicals and replacement parts and so forth. Um, but big box stores won't have this. I can't find it on Amazon. I'm searching the internet. I can't find it. If... The Project Piaba website has a store locator. If your local fish store wants to carry this product, they can contact Project Piaba and they'll help them become affiliated with Aquion so they can begin shipping the tanks to them. But it's got to be a local fish store. And then, man, it just keeps on going. The goodness that they then organize the local fish stores that are selling this uh, product into a co-op amongst themselves so that they have contact with each other. And if so, if you're in Oregon, you're not gonna be actually in competition with someone in Virginia. But if you b both have different experiences and you share those experiences, now your experience pool all of a sudden, or your information pool has expanded by sharing your experiences. Kind of like what we're doing here. So it's, it is so much in sync with the community tank. It's like a sister program. So I don't have any, I don't have a problem talking about it ad nauseum, obviously. But I do believe in it, and I hope you'll check it out and learn more about it also. Mark Hill says, awesome. I, I concur. HC Aqua, what's going on, Jesse? Good to see you, bro. 2.30 p.m. down there in Australia. So thanks for dropping in the middle of the afternoon there. I don't even know what day that would be. Is it Friday there? 
Oh, what's the lottery numbers if it's a day ahead, right? Okay. Also, you know, I went on and on about KG Tropicals because it's just the truth. But there's so many people that I could think. I don't want to leave anybody out. I don't want to start a list and end up short. But a couple of people that have supported the River Life channel, I mean, just because we met in person and we liked each other and people generally want to help other people. Uh, one of those was Peck Tech, Sean Peck of Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, I, I discovered his channel. He was a larger channel doing out of this world content. The guy's a creative genius. He tells a story. He records it. He's a filmmaker. Um, just great content. I met him, went down to visit him, uh, River Wife and I did, and before we left, he had given me an aquarium. Uh, and I'll tell you something special about that aquarium. And also, a few studio lights. I didn't have any lights. I was rigging those uh, chicken coop lights, you know, the metal thing with the light bulb in the middle. And uh, he gave me a set of studio lights and lots of encouragement, lots of information about editing software and so forth. So the tank he gave me, it was a, uh, it was a Fluval tank with the small opening on the top and part of the top is silicone glass. Can be a little tedious getting in there. It's on a little contemporary stand that's much smaller. So the aquarium is cantilevered. It kind of hangs over and you know, uh, what's that called? Is it a spec? They call that one the spec. So what was cool about that aquarium is he was one of the first people to get it and did an unboxing and setup on his YouTube channel. And that aquarium, that very aquarium, he had gotten, it's still his number one most watched video. He had gotten at the time, it's been a year ago now, he had gotten 650,000 views on that video where he showed that aquarium. So I got that aquarium and the thumbnail is that aquarium. This aquarium got 650K views. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't on my channel. And I set that thing up and we had some fun with it. Uh, so he gave me that special aquarium lights and now, you know, anything that I need, any question I have, he's happy to, to help us out. And, uh, river wife and I were amazed at this, his aquariums. When you see them, uh, on his video, you're like, wow, man, that, that guy is taking care of some tanks. He loves doing the planted tank. He's got a huge variety of fish tanks all over, which I love tanks in every room, just about. And, but when you see them in person, it's a whole nother dimension. They're brighter, they're bigger. It's just mesmerizing. You're, you got the lock jaw. Wow. <laughs> that looked kind of neat on film, but in person, I can't take my eyes off of it. So Peck Tech's a great guy. I appreciate him having me down to his home in Knoxville and the way that he helped the channel out with first set of lights, the big deal aquarium and lots of encouragement and information. Um, the guys over at uh, My Aquarium Box, uh, Mike Haynes, Mass Aquariums, Greg Jones, Greg Jones Online, Michael Eugenio, Green Oasis Farms, uh, Paul Eugenio, and Chris DeSalvo of Better Oasis and Green Oasis Farms. Those guys have been more than helpful. Uh, Greg and Mike started the My Aquarium Box, which I think forwarded the hobby it changed the way we consume aquarium products and it, it 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 brought down a lot of walls and built bridges between fish keepers and manufacturers so they did that they did that with an idea that they just put out there to the community and we supported and then when i asked them hey how do you do a youtube channel and I, I, I was less than 200 subscribers when I asked, and they both gave me the time of day. We became friends. They were very helpful in that launch, that very initial, you just keep doing it. You just do what you're doing. You figure out what you're good at, and you do that a lot more than what you're not good at. And what you're not good at, you, you try to get good at. It's like, oh, the simple stuff. And it's like, yeah, and if you get stuck, let me know. Tampa Tom knows Mike because he's in the chat saying, dilly, dilly. Down the wormhole. D, I don't know how long you've been here. Welcome. I did show a picture of KC again earlier. I've got it right here. I did mention KC's name this time. I didn't know the last time. Beautiful fish that you have, and Chris did a good job capturing it. So those guys were great. 
Uh, and then Michael Eugenio, his brother Paul, and Krista Salvo, they allowed River Wife and I to visit the Green Oasis Farms in Florida, and we did an on-location video. It's absolutely beautiful down there. Fantastic video. I hope you'll check that one out where we visited the Green Oasis Farms. Um, Rob and Amanda from Flip Aquatics. This, um, I think Rob echoes my positive spirit. I just he, he and Amanda, this wonderful people, always encouraging. Uh, happy to see you, smiles and hugs. You know the kind of people you want to be with. And um, I had lots of questions about setting up a shrimp tank, and Rob was very patient <laughs> and helping me out, and I blew it anyway. But I'll tell you this, here's a reveal. There will be a shrimp tank in the new fish studio. So we're going to get back into the shrimp. I talked to Rob at Aquashell and Aquatic Experience. We're getting excited about that. And Rob from Flip Aquatics is going to come do a fish room tour. So even if we don't get a lot of in the meantime footage going on, you're going to get some really good coverage of the fish studio when it's finished. That's a promise. Um, too many others to name. Uh, let's see. I wrote down a few names here. <laughs> I better mention this one. King and Queen Cichlids. Scott and Liz over at King and Queen Cichlids. They're like brothers and sisters to me. And they have always unwaverably been supportive of the River Life YouTube channel. Regardless. Hell or high water. Scott is communicating with me with encouragement and always a friendly face and that meant a lot in a time when um, things were happening in a hurry he was hustling he's serious about YouTube he's serious about helping other people he's a community minded person I gave him an award I don't know if I've got a I don't have a copy of one in here. I gave he and Liz a, a community building award. I only gave three of those awards. A little trophy it has a River Life sticker at the bottom, and it's the uh, one of the golden uh, movie awards with the model holding a, a golden reel over their head. And that was for doing community building videos. Rob from Flip Aquatics got the first one. John from KG Tropicals and Lisa got the second one. And uh, thanks for posting their link, Candy. Um, King and Queen Cichlid, Scott and Liz got the third and last one. After they got theirs, I retired the award. Uh, but I certainly would not be the YouTuber that I am without those people doing those community building things. And so that's that was just my way of, of recognizing them. And push it real good. Okay, Fish Tropics, hit the like, I guess. Push it real good. Okay, so yeah, those guys, brothers and sisters... Scott and Liz, and I'm going to be leaning on Scott during the build out of the new fish room because I, I'm thinking it's time to discover African cichlids. What do you guys think? I mean, it's been long enough, right? It's it's time. Scott and Liz are the best. They hosted the American Cichlid Association show at Aquatic Experience, by the way. And they invited our friend Chris Lawson, Multi Tank Addiction, to come sit in at the uh, table with them and give away his autographed prints. That's where I got this. This is a sweet collab. Scott said, Hey, come over here and see Chris. He's giving away art. Had a line. At one time, he had a line longer than Corey had. It's great. That's, that's just a good story. That's just wonderful people doing great things. And I appreciate them so much for doing that. Of course, all of you guys here tonight are very special. I want to thank all of you guys for being here. I wish I would have said that more times tonight, even though I've made a big effort to say it a few times. I couldn't say it enough. Um, big show tonight, launching new things, doing it in a different way with the monetization, with the support of KG Tropicals. Some of you even went to Corey's live stream, then John's. Now you're in here. Thank you so much for being here, for making this special for so many people. Um, and I, I, I highlighted a few people I could, you know, the list goes on and on. I, I, I could, I could reach in the bag and grab out another handful of names and, and tell you great things about each of those people and, and all of you people. I mean, you come in here with this level of trust 
and positivity and you throw it down and say, yep, I'm in. Let's, let's be positive together. Multi-tank says Shelly's, Tanganyika. Mm, that's cool. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably not going to be Shelly's. <laughs> it, this is what I know about African cichlids, Chris. It's probably going to be something blue, maybe with a little yellow on it. Um, and probably I'm going to, you know, go to one of these shows and say, hey, Scott, what's, what's that one? <laughs> how, how big of a tank do I need for that one? Do I get five females or how, what's the ratio? <laughs> Thank you, Michael Thornley. For saving my hind end. He says, thanks to River Wife for supporting River Life also. And listen, that is so true. Thank you, River Wife, if you're in there watching, if you haven't dozed off. Thank you so much for your support. I love you more than popcorn. And that's a joke that my grandson says sometimes. And I want you guys to know that I tell, I look River Wife in the eye and I tell her on occasion how much I appreciate her being supportive. Mark Hill, another 20 bucks, saying, let's do this. He's not ready to give up yet. He's tired, but he's not out. Thank you, Mark Hill. And uh, so this aquatic experience, Riverwife and I got a couple of days in New York City and New Jersey after the show, and it was absolutely wonderful knowing. If you watch my live stream, I was joking. I started a live stream, and she was with me, and I turned around, and she was gone. And I said, oh, I've lost River Life. If you guys see her, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she she's not a fish nerd she's not she's had fish she's kept cichlids before she's had a large tank of cichlids i haven't but she's not she's not a youtuber she's kind of camera shy don't get me on the camera unless i say it's okay and and i don't very often okay all right but it doesn't if 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 i want to do this youtube and i want to go to an aquarium convention she's on the plane you know what i'm saying She's absolutely supportive, and I do appreciate her, and I couldn't do this without her support. Um, and so that being said, you're not going to get a lot of River Life content on the weekends. I'm retired. She's still working. The weekend is our time. So, you know, that's the time we have together. So not a lot of content being um, uploaded or whatever on the weekends. And that's okay. That's just fine. We're going to... We, us guys, we got it going on during the week. Multi-tank addiction with the $2 super chat. Angela is the best. She is. If you only knew. Let's see. Here you go. Oh. Oh. That was from Aquatic Experience Weekend. Yep. We are Rangela. I'm listening to see if I think if she were awake that might have provoked a response <laughs> but that's my beautiful wife and she is awesome Chris you know what buddy I forgot to give you a ranch I'm sure that's written on this page somewhere. You want you guys want to see these show notes? This is what I'm working with. Yeah, it's high tech around here. Yeah, that's why I've had to have my glasses on all night because I have to look down and read something there. And that's it. We're through the show notes. You guys are awesome. Chris did me. Oh my gosh, she's awake. Oh wow. Yeah, what did I do with those roses? I got them around here. So did you guys see those? What did I do with those? I don't, they're around here somewhere, honey. You're welcome, Chris. Thank you guys for all the super chats. You're absolutely amazing. Um, I, I really couldn't have imagined uh, a better outcome for the first live stream being monetized. I, I think we're going to have a good time with this community tank live. We'll get some community tanker swag going on and we'll get it out there to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you guys for hanging in there tonight. It's 1159 Chattanooga. Ed, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Candy, I'm glad to know that you felt the love. 
and it's that's all it is it says there's a dollar sign in front of it but it's love that's all it is and and i hope that it it eases your mind a little bit at least for a minute and it's just a token of what we can do for all you do for us i can't tell you the number of live streams that i'm a part of and i see you in there just working away in addition to actually being employed by aquarium co-op you're just such a giving person we are very fortunate and blessed to have you in our community so thank you very much sandy thank you very much pam by the way i'm going on and on about chris's art because we got this thing going on but 54 punchy the art of fish keeping is in here and pam is a certified fine artist she is next level blow your mind painter uh, so give give her art a look over there too if you're into art if i caught you with the art stuff you got to check out 54 punchy the art of fish keeping she also does a live stream lots of cool people hanging out in there and she's saying hello to angela angela will appreciate that Yep, good string. All right, Full Moon Aquatics. Uh, didn't get to say your name before now.